Hello everybody, Yas is with Yah, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making a guaranteed rarity sign and just another leaderboard. It's a very simple, simple tutorial. Um, we're only going to be filling out a very, very tiny amount of code, but um, we're also going to be looking at these new signs. Um, so thank you guys uh, very, very much for being here and subscribing and commenting, like, sharing. Um, I appreciate all of you guys so much. Happy Halloween. I know it's coming very soon here. Um, and thank you to all the members. If you're not part of the membership, feel free to join below. If you'd like to, I have all the full kits and scripts, all of that down below. And I post a lot of advice and everything and help you out. So just feel free to join, and it means a lot to me, guys. Thank you. Uh, let's get straight into this. All right. So basically, if I click play right now, I'm going to show you quickly my game that I've been updating and going through. But um, so I changed a few things. You're probably like, okay, what did I do? So it's starting to look a little bit more like Steel of Brain Rot. It's starting to get together. Um, so we have a new sign over here, which I'll talk about. And then I move these ones back over here. So let me just do shift. It's easier and faster. Okay, so um, these are the boards. They're pre-scripted and already made for you. I just kind of just did a little design. So I just put them in there for you guys. This looks exactly like Steel of Brain Rot, of course. So um, those are already made for you guys, which are great. Um, and then over here, we are going to be looking at this right here. Okay, so, um, and it works. It works perfectly great, by the way. Um, this is going to be in another video, which I'll go into, because it's going to be a little bit of a longer video, I think. Um, not too much longer, of course, but, you know, I just wanted to get up this video with a sign um, and kind of, like, highlighting that, because a lot of people might have been wanting that or confused. Okay, and also, just when I mean going between that, like, we are going to be updating our game. Um, the last video, we talked about Commander, but there's a lot of more things I kind of want to go into with you. Okay, so... First things first, of course, like I mentioned, if you're in the Discord, uh, you should be able to get the kit or, um, you know, the everything just by joining the Discord. Um, but of course, you don't have to be in the Discord. I'm just saying I recommend doing it. But here is the model. It should be here in the description. So go grab that. It's in the description. Uh, you can claim it, everything like that. And once you get that, um, so basically, we will uh, load into our game. Now, I'm going to open my other one. Which one do I have open? Oh, yeah. Let me go to my other game. Open from Roblox. I'm going to grab my actual main game here. Sorry, I'm this time I'm not very prepared. Uh, so, forgive me on that. Okay, so part two. All right, this is my other one. So, I want to make sure we're doing this from scratch. So, um, what you guys are going to do. Okay, so, yeah, as you can tell, kind of blank. There's nothing really in here right now. Okay, so these were our old signs. So what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of these, okay? We're just going to just delete them. Delete this whole folder, leaderboards. You don't need it. Um, I'm going to explain why in a bit here, but you don't need it. And what I mean, guys, is we're going to be starting to organize workspace. I don't like how it is, so we're going to be doing that. Now, you guys should have this guaranteed rarity board as well. And see, there's nothing, no design, no nothing. Delete that too, okay? So now your game should just kind of look like this. You shouldn't have any signs or anything. And you should have your map, okay? So, um, like I said, we're going to start really organizing our game and making it better from the kit that it originally was. So, in your inventory, if you have the model and if you're part of the membership, you should be able to import it. It should be ready for you. But, so, right here, we have the signs. So, I'm actually able to, right as I import them, move them to, like, match my game exactly. So, uh, technically, it was already for my last previous build. So, I can just go like this and, like get it to where I like it. Um, I'm going to go like right there, but let's move it just a little bit to the right a little bit. So something like that. Um, okay. That looks good. Let's double check over here. That looks good too. Okay. So now it's lined up very simple, just like that. Okay. Um, from, I mean, of course it might be harder if you're on mobile suit light. So I understand, but, um, going into here. So there's a little readme. You don't really have to worry about that if you're watching the video. So let's just skip that for now. But what we're going to do is we have two little models right here. Very simple. We're going to put this into map and we are going to ungroup it either by right clicking or just um, you can drag these outside and put them into map or just doing control you. So I'm going to do control you. So now we have map and we have leaderboard and signs. So that's that's looking better. So um, what we're going to do now, we have guaranteed rarities, but I want you guys to look at server storage and go to your configurations and modules and you see you have a guaranteed rarity right here. So this was the old one. So if however you guys had customized this, just keep it for now and compare the into the new one. But basically for me, I'm just going to delete this script because we're going to be slowly moving things out of here into replicated storage, which I'll explain why later. But for now, it's OK. Um, and we are going to go to replicate storage. We're going to go to uh, configuration, go to modules, and we're going to just drop this in here just like that. So um, 
once you do that, you know, later you read that. But so once we have that, you can see when we open this up, we have two more things we added. So we actually added traits and mutation, and then um, that's about it. So these are the times. So basically how this works, guys, let me explain real quick, is the amount of things you want to spawn. Do you want to spawn two of them, three of them, five of them? How many you likely want to spawn? Just put the number here. And for how long it takes, so this is seconds, so it's going to take 30 seconds for a mythic to spawn. Of course, you want to make it probably like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, blah, blah, blah. For testing purposes, I would make it a very small number. Um, I could even do 15 and then 20, you know, whatever you, you want to do. But mutation traits. So if you want to add traits and mutations, which I don't really recommend it, I just added it as a placeholder, um, you can do that based off of your mutations. So whatever you have in mutations, feel free to add that. Um, if you want to do traits too. So that could be nice too if like you're doing a special event or like uh, you want to do like a certain brain rot that's like very, very specific. Um, you could go through here and just like make it very special and it has like all these traits, but they have to wait like a whole hour in the game, you know, something like that. Um, so that's why I added that. And to add traits, you guys, you just go like here and you go like demon, let's say, and then you go comma fog, um, you know, kaga, ka uh, comma bubble gum, you know, just things like that. Very, very simple to do. Okay, and then, yeah, just leave it blank if you don't want traits. All right, so that's how you do guaranteed traits. I mean, rarity, sorry. Very easy. Make sure you're using these uh, right here. So whatever you're using right here, you'd copy and paste. So if you want to make, like, a common or epic, you know, you go comma here, and you see, like, okay, I want to do, like, a, leg a legendary spawn, then you put legendary right there. Okay, sorry, I hope that makes sense. Um, and, yeah, so your game should be fine. Now, um, after that, so... Basically, okay, we have our things. So in signs, I mean, in leaderboards, you can see over here, we have our leaderboards. They are, I'm just going to like move this a little bit more to the right and stuff. But everything's already made in this, so you don't need to worry about it. It has rebirth and money. I don't recommend doing steals. If you want to do steals, like just make like, you literally can just go like this and go up here. Like here, I'll show you real quick. If you want to do steals, um, you can actually just go right here. Let's just like get rid of this barrier for now, whatever. Um Go right here let's say you want to add steals like you could go like this you could call it um steals leaderboard and then you could go right here and you literally could just like if you want to to make this very very simple you could just go steals that's that is literally all you have to do um and then if you do that you should be good and that that will that will literally fix it to give you steals um and you don't need to change any of the names or anything you can just change this data store right here because the data store is what we're grabbing so um that's all you have to do but of course, I mean, I don't want it, so I'm not going to add it, but yeah. Okay. So that's good. It's already made for you now back over here. So we have the rarities. Okay. So in here we have a part and then we have, um, if you want to customize this, you guys just customize the barrier. The part right here is a surface GUI. So this is what we're using to display it. But, um, in here we're going to have the script. Okay. And we have the frame, the GUI, all that kind of crap. And then a text. So showing you how this works basically is in here. We have a text label. So if I were to duplicate this and put it in here. Basically, every time it gets made, it's going to just be duplicating itself and be putting on the screen. We're doing, oh, we're doing this through script though. We're not going to hard code it where it's like already on here. We want to make it fresh every time. So that's how it works. If you want to customize the look of the text, just put it in here for now to see it. And then like go through here and like change the font. Let's say, you know, you could go in here and, um, oops, and, you know, change these two however you like. So you know, like I said, it just depends on what you want. So if you want like something like that and you want to like just, you know, keep it like that, feel free to. I mean, this is kind of the text font I've been following. So, you know what? I'm going to just switch that out and go right there. And there you go. So now you're good. Okay. So in here, we are basically going to script a very tiny thing. But let me just explain real quick. We have a function that makes the labels. So we're going to be making them. And then we have a function that's going to be making a row of labels. So prefix, rarity, suffix, um, which what I mean by this, guys, is because when I show you how the script works, oh, well, you already saw. Um, basically, it's going to be doing like white text and then customized text and then white text is kind of what we're doing. And then we have this little normalized trace thing, so don't really worry about that. Um, but basically, we're just using uh, easy visuals, which, by the way, you guys, if you do not have easy visuals, it should be in your upcase storage and modules. Make sure you get that. Um, you can go look at my other videos because I talk about that a lot. But you shouldn't have any errors when you play the game. Okay, so in here, we're going to be programming right here. Okay, so I'm going to make this very, very simple. Um, I'm just going to quickly just double check that I don't mess it up while I'm doing this. Because um, I never want to mess this up in this, you guys. But yeah. Okay, so in here, we are going to do a few things. Okay, so um, let me just make this a so I don't forget. Okay. So perfect. All right. 
So we're going to do a uh, little new variable. We're going to call it remaining. And this is going to equal uh, time seconds, okay? So time seconds as many as, as, many, as in the remaining time. So while running, which is a variable we already have, as in saying, you know, is it running right now? Um, like the time. Do we do, and we get the row, and we do dot parent. We create a while do script. A uh, little function, I guess you could say. Um, loop, sorry. Um, so we're going to go in here. We're going to grab the label, and we're going to go dot text equals. And this is where we do little parentheses right here, okay, and do quotation marks. And you're going to go in, and then this is a little percentage sign, S, okay, so that's going to do seconds, right? We're going to do format like this, and we're going to go numbers dot time. We're going to go math dot max right here, okay? And once you go math max, we're going to go um, zero comma remaining, okay? So this is going to grab the text and do the um, remaining time. So after we do that, this is where we create a little if statement. So if remaining is less than or equal to zero, then, okay, so if it's if it's um, less than zero, okay, if it's less than zero, then um, we are going to do a few things, which I'll talk about. If it's if it's greater than zero, so in the else statement, we're just going to do remaining is minus and equal to one, okay, so just like that, so you should be good. Um, and then, of course, in here, right below where I actually have this, you're just going to go task dot wait, and we're going to go one second, just like that. Um, so you should be good on that part. Um, basically though, so let's just, uh, go right here. Um, task dot wait. Oh, you know what? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. while running, ah, no, this is, this is not what I meant to do. Like this. There we go. That's why I say we want to make sure I'm, I'm just like reading off my screen. So I'm not doing great. Okay. Just like this. Sorry. This is how it should look. Okay. So, um, in here, if then we'll go else, um, and then end and remaining. Okay, so it should look like something like this. Now, to finish the script off, okay, so we're gonna do um, oops, local, and we'll go right here, and we'll go local random name, we'll go random mutation, random traits equals, okay, so we're gonna go an equal sign, and we are going to set it to things.random, okay, and we're gonna go right, just like that, okay, so just go right here. And things, by the way, is the module that we use for doing uh, random. So uh, don't really worry about that for now, but we should be fine. So uh, basically, okay, I'm going to show you this. So we're going to do local send name equals random name, okay? Now, you guys are probably like, why are we doing this? Well, um, just because uh, when it comes to sending these, if you don't put it in right, we want to double check that uh, we get either a forced one or we get a random one. So this is basically what we're doing here, okay? And then send traits. I'll go force traits or um, random traits, okay? And random mutation and traits, by the way, these are already called uh, using the, um, yeah, using this thing.random. So that's what we're doing right here. Um, and we're just grabbing it by using the module that we made in .random and we're sending the rarity, okay? So once we do that, we're gonna do things.q. And guys, what I mean by random is like we're spawning a random one from that rarity, okay? Uh, so things.q is already in the, in the module function. So what we're doing is we're going to queue a thing to spawn. And we're going to go amount. So that amount that we have, what number is that? Send name, which is going to be either a random name. Um, so whatever random we get for that. And we're going to do send traits. So if we don't have a force, I mean a random trait, we do a force trait. And then we're going to do send mutation. Okay. So this is going to queue that for thing to spawn. Then we just do remaining right here equals time seconds okay so that should just work let's just double check real quick sometimes we can add a double check make sure there's nothing wrong um yeah okay so there it goes uh let's just see if it spawns we gotta make sure you know always gotta make sure things spawn and crap but let's just double check um okay so there you go got my mythic lucky Alrighty, so that is about it, you guys. Nothing too crazy. Um, just a little bit of a tutorial talking about making some sign. Now your game looks a little bit better, you know? This is probably not what everyone's game looks like right now, but of course it's very nice because it has the new sign and we are gonna be making the like sign in probably the next video or something. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, but I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate all of you guys so, so much. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.